Oh, we're back again with the roundness of reefers. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> let's shuffle this around here. And we got three amazing items, I hope, on here. And let's uh, spin the roundness around, the roundness of reefers, and we'll see what it picks. Come on, that wink thing. Ah, oh, it's the Edison, Rio Bravo. All right. Well, here it is, Rio Bravo from Edison. Um, somebody had suggested that I buy this to, uh, to try it out. Um, I forget who it was though, I'm so sorry. I tried searching through uh, YouTube comments so I could get your name, but YouTube comments suck and they don't let you search anymore. They've updated them to remove the search. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for suggesting it, I guess. Well, actually, you know what? We'll find out soon if I'm thankful for that. But, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Thank you for the suggestion. We'll give it a try. So this is Rio Bravo from Edison. This is at 201 milligrams or 20% 0.1. And this is uh, a sativa. This is, the actual name of this strain is um, Wa Wabanaki, Wabanaki. I don't know how you say it, but it's like that. That's what it is. And the date is, oh, that's not too bad. September the 9th. So there we go. Yeah, Rio Bravo from Edison. This is one of the old flavors that's still around from back in the day. And um, this stuff here uh, went for, I think it was like $26.95 for 3.5, I think. So yeah, that's what that was. But anyways, let's check the scale, make sure it's all good. So we're just checking the scale with a 50.00 gram weight here. Make sure it's accurate. And it is accurate. So awesome. Here's the little container. Put that on there and zero it out. And it's time for Rio Bravo Edison. And oh yeah, I already said how much this cost. It was like $26.95. Hey, they have a seal on here. I don't remember if they always had seals. Maybe they did. I just don't know. It's been so long since I bought an Edison like this. One of these old school ones. Oh, look at that. There's a little section where it wasn't completely glued down. There's a little pack. I have so many of these now. I've never bought one myself because I keep getting them in these containers. Oh my god, that is a weird smell. That's interesting. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm instantly reminded of when I smell this? Is um, those tackies, those chip, chip things, like rolled up Dorito things. They're called tackies or tackuses or something like that. That's kind of the smell I'm getting off of this. Interesting. Anyways, let's see what they gave me here. Come on, Edison. Let's see what you got. Edison! You gave me... Um, you overweight? This is overweight! That's nice! Here's all the buds. Um, they're not super dry. It's got a little bit of a squish to them. A little, sp a little spongy or something. Yeah, they, they feel like they're not sticky, but they feel like they've got a little bit of moisture to them. So, I guess that's cool. There's a lot of little ones here, but there's not as many. I think the uh, Garlic Z still has the uh, number one spot for the most buds in a 3.5. What was it, 47? <laughs> Something like that. Anyways, though, uh, this, this stuff doesn't look especially good from just using my eye. But who knows? Maybe it is. Hopefully it is, rather. But let's check it with the microscope first. So we're checking out this Wabanaki, this Rio Bravo from Edison, from the Organogram, guys. And it's got a lot of trichomes that are sort of cloudy and maybe with a touch of yellowish to them. A little a touch of it. So somebody asked me if I could do some more medium range shots instead of just the extremely close ones. So I'm trying to do that here. I don't see it being that good of a view, but you know, whatever. I'll we'll try it. Do a little, do some of these uh, from a little bit of a distance. I don't know why though. You can't see all that much. And then we'll go back up close. <laughs> Cause why not? Look at these scraggly looking trichomes. A lot of them look well. No, they're kind of just tipped over. They're like they're top heavy, and they've tipped over. I think. Look right there, that looks nice. You can see sort of the chunkies in there. 
this stuff all has that it doesn't have that nice look that where you get like the balls on the end you know the little trichome balls these are all like they've all fallen over or given up here's some close-ups on one of the other pieces here look at that section that looks kind of funny looking huh a couple little guys on there anyways you know what let's bust one of these things open and take a look inside because the outside sure ain't pretty here's a look at the inside of the buds not the prettiest looking um you can see some nice sparkle in there you can see some trichome heads a little bit this sure is some ugly ass weed though uh, <laughs> hopefully it's good though hopefully it's like the ugly duckling it's really good but it looks ugly as shit but anyways i'm gonna go try it i'll be back and i'll let you know what i, what I think of it so i just got in from this rio bravo from edison also known as wabanaki at uh 20 and uh surprisingly this stuff is actually decent so i guess that's why it's still around after all these years uh this rio bravo but yeah this is good stuff uh, it's got a really interesting taste. It's kind of hard to sort of pinpoint what it tastes like, though. Like I said, it smells kind of like those uh, Takis chips. And <laughs> for the, the taste, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a forest. Something like in a forest, maybe where there's some sand and you kick up some dusty sand in a forest. It's kind of a weird flavor. Very unique, and I like it. So, Wow. That's kind of cool. Um, hey, so I got just a quick little addition that I'm just gonna shove into the video somewhere. <laughs> I forgot to mention what the high on this is like. Um, and it's decent, it's a nice one. It's kind of like a medium high sort of a thing where it's um, it's got like a bit of energy to it and uh, a bit of clear headedness. It's very nice, very sort of, uh, very chill with energy kind of a thing. So it's pretty decent. I'm really surprised about this stuff. I thought it was going to be like, you know, <laughs> not that good, but you know, it's okay. Anyways, I just thought I would add this in because I forgot it. I just realized it now. So anyways, back to the rest of it. Yeah, I think I probably would buy this again. And I'm just noticing that it's 50 bucks for a quarter. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. That's all right. This stuff's all right. I like it. Um, Yeah. Cool. Thanks for the recommend. I'm totally surprised by how much I think this is decent. <laughs> but anyways, um, two more things left on the roundness of reefers. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell if you want to get a notification when the next video comes up. And uh, come check it out. And that's it for now. So uh, we'll see you later. Have a good one.